in the press sometimes call the Higgs boson the gold particle. What, what do you think of that? Well, that embarrasses me. I mean, the, the, the term gold particle uh, was introduced by, by Leon Lederman. There's something spooky about this standard model. It doesn't really work. So we know that there is something sick in our theory. Uh, <clears throat> Lederman claims that he, 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 he didn't really intend that to be the title. He wanted to, to refer to it as that Godin particle. How long is it since you've actually visited CERN? My main uh, visit to, to, to CERN in terms of time was as long ago as 1976. The dining room where, no doubt, over the years, the Yates family ate some truly exquisite meals. Pheasant, boar, goose, with all the trimmings. Well, eat this. And uh, there had also been uh, uh, indications uh, 19, uh, sorry, 1960-61. I am trying to make a television He's program. He's trying to make a television program. Can we have a bit of quiet, please? Thank you. When the Large Hadron Collider and its massive detectors become operational, one of its primary tasks will be to look for the Higgs boson. It takes its name from one of its proponents, Professor Peter Higgs of Edinburgh University, who today leads a quiet life in an old area of Edinburgh known as Newtown. As he walks each day near his home, this leading field theorist passes the house of a revered predecessor. This house we're standing outside is the, the birthplace of James Clerk Maxwell. It's a reminder to me of the, the way field theory began in the 19th century. As it happens, the house holds very special memories for me. Exactly! Can I help you? It, it very soon became evident when I was a physics undergraduate that I was not going to be an experimental physicist. Uh, I was terrible as an experimentalist. He's just an overweight man who tells stories. And all his impressions are rubbish. I don't care if he does own the house. When we find that golden potato, it's ours. We're not sharing those crisps with anybody. Do you know, I think I've got an idea. Uh, it would be r rather surprising to me if the underlying idea was was not right. In 1995, Fermilab found the top quark, and that enabled people to look at this correction formula and say, OK, what's, what's left to fill the gap between theory and experiment? Uh, that's the Higgs boson contribution. Therefore, the Higgs boson mass should be in a certain range. But you know where this uh, golden potato is hidden. I haven't the foggiest. I've looked everywhere here. I can't find it. Uh, in 1995, the pr prediction was a rather interesting one. It was that the most likely values were within reach of LEP. What are you looking for? The golden potato. Where is it? Now that would be telling. Uh, LEP went up to 114 and didn't find anything. And this was maybe a bit worrying because uh, they were beginning to get to the tail of the st statistical distribution. Now, where is this golden potato? Uh, but in the last few months, uh, new measurements uh, f reported by Fermilab have revised the mass of the top quark and that favoured value, the most, most likely value for the Higgs boson mass, is about 117. Give it back, my darling! Not unless you tell us where the golden potato is! It's not here! It would certainly be very puzzling for, for, for me to, to, to think of a situation where somebody could really r rule out the existence of the H Higgs, Higgs boson. When I saw your badges, I thought you were just looking for this golden potato. Hmm? Oh, no, no, no. I mean, <laughs> who wants to win a year's supply of Chris? Oh, God, no, no. The biggest job of the collider is to sift the cosmic soup for a particle called the Higgs boson, also dubbed the God particle. 
The standard model of, of particles, the, the, our basis for understanding what we're made of right now is missing some major ingredients. And the Higgs is, is, the, is, is probably going to be the, the saviour of, of, of the standard model. Using the golden potatoes in here? Who cares? Look, it's Princess Anne's naughty. The Higgs boson is a theoretical particle that's never been detected. It appears at energy levels that only this new machine can reach. And even inside the Atlas, the Higgs boson may only be visible every 10 trillion collisions. I found it! We found it! Hmm? Oh no, it's just a poster. Oh. Easy mistake to make. Uh, we're looking for not a needle in a haystack, I think we're looking for a needle in about 10,000 haystacks. Um, probably even more like 100,000 haystacks. You're not looking for this gold potato? No, not interested. Don't want to find it. Don't want it. No. What makes finding the Higgs particle worth the multi-billion dollar investment is the fact that it's thought to give everything in the universe its mass. The golden potato must be here. Yeah, and we're gonna find it. Yeah. Peter Higgs suggested that moments after the Big Bang, a field was created which stretches across the entire universe. It's taken two decades and eight billion dollars to design and build a machine capable of testing his theory. Well, I thought you were looking for the golden potato. It's not here. But how do you know? It's only episode three. We can't find it yet. <coughs> If we don't find anything relevant to the Higgs boson, hopefully we'll find something else that's new and exciting. Definitely we'll find something else that's new and exciting. We come to find a gold potato as well. Well, it's not here. Right, right we're off then. Of course, before they built the theme park... If you say that again, I'm going to do something bad. If we don't find that particle in particular, we have to develop a new theory, which I'm not a theorist, but... Uh, it would take a lot of time and effort, but somebody will succeed. If the God particle doesn't exist, the theory we have right now doesn't quite work, so we'll find another one. Tony, was that really necessary? Yeah. The darkness, the voices, telling me to do things. Shall we go on the rise then? Yeah! Some particles move through the Higgs field and, and talk to the Higgs field and slow down. And they're the heavy particles, so all the particles that make up your body uh, are heavy because they're talking to the Higgs field. Then, Sorry, I can hear somebody talking somewhere. Can we please have quiet? Shh. I can still hear voices. Thank you. To prove the existence of the Higgs field, scientists have to find a particle linked with it. Yet in the 40 years since it was first thought of, no one has. Will we find the Higgs particle at the LHC? That, of course, is the question. And uh, the answer is, um, science is what we do when we don't know what we're doing. I'm just chasing rainbows that trying to build motorways through my house, but I don't want to move. Revolutions sometimes come from the fact that you hit a wall and you realize that you truly haven't understood anything. I'm just eating rainbows. They're trying to build motorways from my house, but I don't want to move. Perfect. The LHC is certainly by far the biggest jump into the unknown. I'm calling security. Because uh, there, there it is. It's, I mean, it, well, there it is. What's that man doing over there? He's trying to find the golden potato for me. Oi, what's that lump in your trousers? Uh, I get it. It's like a queenie innuendo. Christ! It's a golden potato! Oh, sweet father in heaven. Um, we have the golden potato! So where do you go from there? <laughs> uh, that's it.